Hello everybody, I wanted to show you how I make a tray using a silicone mold. So I've started out by mixing equal parts of the Culture Cast casting resin by Counterculture DIY. Mixed for about three to four minutes and now I'm ready to pour. So I just go slowly around the perimeter of the mold. It's going to fill the sides of the tray. And then what I'm going to do next is put some painted rocks inside of the sides of the tray. Next, I'm gonna grab my trusty heat gun and this will allow us to pop any bubbles that rise to the surface after we pour the resin. And here are the painted rocks. So you just kind of carefully follow along the perimeter of the entire mold. Also, sorry about my angles in this video. I'm holding my phone camera on a handheld tripod, so I tried to keep it as smooth as I could, but eh, just forgive me here. So now I'm just gonna use this oversized popsicle stick to make sure that the stones are set into the sides of the tray. That's where I wanted them focused. So now I'm going to take the rest of my resin and fill in any gaps that I see might have needed more. Also use the popsicle stick to take anything else that I see that might be floating on top of the resin, little specks of dust or anything like that, and just make sure that the mold is completely filled. And then we'll add our ink.
And here's my collection of alcohol inks, including the white jacquard pinata that I used to make the other colors drop down in the mold. This one is Tim Holtz Pool alcohol ink. So with alcohol ink, you just want to drop your desired colors wherever you'd like and sp spread them out, space them out. The client here wanted some teal, pink, and purple streaks, so I tried to do my best to emulate that. So this is the Bria Reese ink in rose. And this is also from Bria Reese, her purple ink. Now that all the main colors are laid down, I'm going to go with the white pinata ink. Drop it all over the color drops. And this is what is going to allow the color to sink into the mold and through the resin. And here we come to another issue that can plague many a resin artist. And that is the issue of how level your mold is. This one is not perfectly level, and so you can see the resin starting to spill out towards the back. And this is actually going to affect the finished product, as you'll see here in a few minutes. So I'm going to continue here layering the color with the white alcohol ink. And how much you do this really is up to you. It just depends on how much saturation you want in your piece. And then here I'm trying really hard to extract my shell pink from its case. There must have been some resin on the bottom of the bottle. Now I'm going to take my popsicle stick and start blending these colors together. And really how you do this is up to you too. Just do it until you're satisfied. And that looks good to me. 
So now it's unmolding time and you can see where the unevenness of the mold caused a lot of that color to spill out, but thankfully it ended up turning out okay. You want to do this very carefully so you don't destroy the integrity of your mold or mess with the piece. And there she is. Oh my gosh, you guys, this came out so freaking cool. Don't you think? Ah, I love it. And my client ended up loving it too. Shout out to Rachel. So thank you all for joining me on my tray crafting journey today. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you do, please like, share, or subscribe for more. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.